In our third example on string manipulation, we're going to do something very different to what we did in example 1 and 2. In example 1 and 2, we had a, a whole bunch of text and we had to extract data from that text in different formats. For example, it was separated by commas or some other symbol. In this scenario, we're not extracting anything. We're just going to go through all the letters and count how many M's there are in my sentence. So in this scenario, we're not extracting anything. As I said, we are going to go through each and every individual letter. So I'm going to start with the first letter and check if it's an M. And I'm going to keep going. The moment I find an M, I'm going to count it. And then I'm going to keep going like that till I get to the end of the string. So let's have a look at how we would do this when I click on this button. I've extracted that uh, sentence into a variable called S sentence from that text box and we're going to use that there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to go through each and every letter in the sentence. Now when you do that you are going to use some sort of for loop. So I'm going to create an R variable which is my variable for my for loop and I'm going to go for R equals 1 and we're going to go until the end of the string. Now, we need to know how many characters there are in the string. And for that, we use the string for the, the function that returns how many characters there. And that's called length. And I'm going to put a sentence as the parameter. So it will tell me how long that sentence is. So I'm going to go from 1 to the length of a sentence, do. And so I must do a few things. So I'm going to put a begin, end here, just so that I know that everything I, that I do between these two uh, statements, the beginning and the end, will happen for the for loop. I always write comments just to make sure I know what that end is for because it's very easy to get confused with all the ends and that. You don't want to get the wrong end is near kind of thing. So let's have a look. When I get each and every letter, now how do I get each and every letter? How do I get the first letter? Well, to get the first letter is S sentence square bracket 1. And to get the second letter would be square bracket 2. And to get the third would be square bracket 3. So how do I get each and every individual letter? Well, R is going to be going 1 up until then. So instead of 3 or 1 or 2 or whatever, I'm going to use R. That's going to represent every single letter as this for loop goes from letter 1 to the end. Now I'm going to take that letter and I'm going to check if that letter is equal to the letter M. And if that is true, then I want to count it. So I need some sort of count variable. So I'm going to make an, a variable R count. And when we count something, it's normally a good idea to initialize it. So I'm going to initialize the R count to a zero. Because when I find an M, I'm going to increase R count. In other words, I'm going to add one to it. Take what it is and add one to it. You could also do something like this. You could also say R count is equal to r count plus one those two statements are exactly the same thing so whenever i find an m increase the count and then after the for loop is completed i'm going to use some sort of show message to display the number of m's which is r count but remember r count is a integer and show message can only take in a string so i must convert it from an integer to a string and then don't forget that semicolon at the end. So that's going to count how many M's there are. So let's run it to see. As you can see in my string, there's an M there. There's two, three, four M's. So it should say four. There are four M's, correct. Now, if I change my sentence, let's say if I change it to like that, where there's a capital M, mouse jumped into the swimming pool. Now, you'll notice it doesn't work. It doesn't pick up that first M. So how can we modify our code so that it picks up the M whether it's capitals or not? Well, I could either say R sentence is equal to the small M or R sentence square bracket R is equal to the big M. Or you could, well, if I'm checking for M here, the small M, I'm just going to take this little letter that we've got here and just change it to lowercase. So here I'm using that function that takes whatever you put in brackets and convert it to a small letter and then it will check if that is an M. So if it's a capital M, it'll convert it to a small M and then it'll be true. If it's a small M, it'll already be a lowercase, so this lowercase won't change it, so it will be true as well. So now if I run that scenario, it still works for the original one, but if I change that to an M, it will work for the second scenario as well. So there we go. Whenever we're going through 
a series of sentences or words or whatever if you're going through each and every individual letter you're normally going to do some sort of for loop that goes from one to the length of that string and then to refer to each and every individual letter you use that so your code here will change depending on what the question is but this is normally the format of how you would do something like that for more examples go to our youtube channel and subscribe we'd love to see your comments and your likes as well as go to facebook and twitter follow us so you can find out whenever we upload new videos or you can go to our new website mrlongrt.wix.com slash mrlongrt where you can see all the videos in the format that you should watch them it looks a little something like this so go to our website and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way